Dawn at Heathrow, and a fire brigade video shows firefighters battling to stop flames engulfing the entire roof of Terminal 1, the airport's busiest. They succeeded, but only just. And as planes continued to take off and land, the authorities took the decision to close not just Terminal 1, but Terminals 2 and 3 as well. And by what would normally be the morning rush on Heathrow's second busiest day of the week, everything was still. And the cause Outside, of all the chaos? All the a small fire in the kitchen of a fast food restaurant that simply got out of hand. And whilst the knock-on effects made headline news, the circumstances that led up to the fire are far less remarkable. Of course, knowing the correct procedure to follow when faced with a hot oil or fat fire is essential. Choosing the wrong extinguisher will only add to the problem, particularly when the fire has been burning for a short time. AFFF foam extinguishers, being water-based and predominantly designed for petroleum risks, are likely to give an almost immediate flashback as the hot oil simply burns the foam into oblivion. Carbon dioxide is a clean gas generally used for electrical risks. Against the intense heat of burning oil, it's virtually powerless. All-purpose powder extinguishers provide rapid knockdown against a fire, but without cooling or sealing properties, reignition will occur. Chubb Fire recognize this need and have successfully lobbied the British and European Standards Institutes to provide a completely separate fire classification for hot oil and fat fires, Class F. And the BSI agree that Class F category is very important. So with considerable development work in place behind the project, it's no coincidence that the Fry Fighter is to be the very first extinguisher to receive Class F British Standard approval. Here, at the Loss Prevention Council, the Fry Fighter is being prepared for what will be a deliberately over-critical test. A fire involving a 75-litre container of cooking oil. That's many times larger than even the biggest standard commercial deep-fat fryer. With the heating process underway, the extinguisher is filled, weighed and pressurised. Three hours later, the temperature has reached the point of auto-ignition. After two minutes of pre-burn, the fire is finally tackled with the fry fighter. As here, full discharge of the extinguisher is always recommended. Once sealed, the residue of the fire is inspected for safety. And although this was a fire of a size far beyond the scope of employees working in a conventional kitchen, the fry fighter still performed extremely well. 